Day number 70. Deny the shadow. Here we go. Namaste and welcome, welcome everyone. This is day number 70 of 365, A Life of Bliss 365. One quote every day from the book, A Life of Bliss, The Living Transmission, channel through this one, from our dear non-physical collective consciousness, Ananda, our friends and teachers here to assist us, humanity, in remembering who we are and why we are here. One video every day from Equinox 23 to Equinox 24. We are live streaming on Rumble 333, Monday to Friday, and a video posted Saturday, Sunday at 333. And we shall get right into the quote for day number 70. Deny the shadow. Illusory as it may be. All of creation is viscerally experienced when you are allowed to feel the hot, the cold, the dark, the light, the here, the there, the small, the tall, the open, the close, the beginning, the finish. Yet what has happened through many of the teachings, through many of your esoteric groupings, there has been a tendency to reach only for the light and discount the dark, to be fully engaged in the knowing that you are light while simultaneously denying the shadow, denying the darkness. Again, in ultimate reality, it matters not, for what you reach for or what you deny is not what you are. Yet, in your experience, you wish to appreciate, to know, to grow, to recognize and to become and express all that you are. And all that you are is a rich tapestry. And all that blooms through you births from rich soil. And so this is the contemplation for day number 70 and continuing this theme of chapter 7 talking about the darkness and the light and the shadow and you know in this journey of remembrance this one has encountered a lot of this this one in this lifetime experienced much darkness and a lot of the shadow But there is an experiencing of many within what we call the spiritual community where they want to only reach for the light and they only see it as good versus evil, right versus wrong, this versus that. And within themselves they are challenged, let's say, or in some cases completely unwilling to recognize or acknowledge any darkness within themselves, the potential of shadow. There is denial. And so there's this fine line of being the absolute reality that we always are, which is neither dark nor light. So we are not one or the other. We are the silence, space, the new thing from which light and dark is born. But within this duality, we are here to experience the unity divided into parts, divided into the polarity, divided into trinity. And if we deny the shadow and we reach for the light only, we are denying self we're denying an aspect of self in this relative reality and so this is the challenge that is posed by this chapter 7 in the book and it continues with this theme so that 
we may remember self. Firstly and always the absolute, knowing that we are the self, capital S, that which is whole and holy, that which is separate from anything that can be spoken of, not separate from, but it is not defined by what can be spoken of. What is spoken of is what separates. But in the relative reality and what we're in these earth suit bodies for is to know ourselves as the dark or the light, the here, the there, the up, the down, the this and the that. And if we deny one part of that, we deny all of it because there is only this. So the invitation is to find where you have denied your shadow, where you have denied your darker, where, where are the dark recesses? Where is the deep, rich soil that you haven't uncovered or haven't allowed? Again, it's not to define yourself as the dark or the light, but in this reality is to find that rich soil from which the new you, that which you are calling forth, that which will be the world, our children and grandchildren, inherit and grow and move within if you're not willing to be uncomfortable and be comfortable being uncomfortable what will this mean for those little ones who have come in now who inherit this sweet earth from us who are here now who are conscious who are aware who are remembering choose. Denial will always leave something unseen, unsaid, something unfinished. And ultimately we're never started or we never finished. Again, we will dance in the paradox, dance from the absolute to the relative. But if you are hearing these words, the dark and the light, the here, the there, all within and without and neither. What have you denied? What can you bring in to the light of awareness? What is the rich soil ripe for planting? What is the rich soil that is ready for you? So this is the contemplation for day number 70. And as always now, we will drop into what we always are from which we cannot deny and actually we cannot drop allowing what is to be what is as what is
So these quotes are coming from the book, A Life of Bliss, The Living Transmission, channels through this one and every day for a whole year from the autumn equinox to the autumn equinox. We started in September 23 and we will continue to September 24. We're live streaming on Rumble at 333 London time every day. Please like, subscribe, join, share. If you find value from these transmissions, if you if they are sparking questions within you, if they're challenging you, if they're triggering you, I invite you to join the conversation, comment on Rumble, join the conversation in Telegram, t.me forward slash Martin 747. And we'd love to hear from you how this life of bliss living transmission is touching you or triggering you. And we look forward 